Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Queen has allowed me to introduce tonight's episode of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. And might I add, Queen Belladonna, you're looking very well this evening. Yes, Cadbury, I am very well, and looking forward to tonight's show. Wolfington, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm simply wonderful, Queenie. Oh, guess who I spoke to before I came on tonight's show? Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> Cadbury, leave the jokes for a real comedian. Yes, Mom, as you wish. Curly from the Three Stooges? No, no, I spoke to Uncle Milton. He's on his way home from Earth after staying at Dark Wolf Manor. He also said that Uncle Jebediah was here last week. Did I miss him? Yes, Wolfington. You came to the show just as Uncle Jebediah, really great-grandfather Jebediah, was leaving. Yes, sir. That's what you get for missing last week's show and going dancing with the girls. <laughs> Indeed. Well, good news, I'm here for tonight's show. Speaking of which, how will tonight's episode start, Queenie? In last week's show, Uncle Sebastian was tortured by the ghost of the dead that Queen Alicia murdered. And tonight we pick up where Uncle Edmund and great-grandmother Greta are on the veranda talking. Oh, I hope they do something about those ghosts. Those spooks are making me nervous. Cadbury, please introduce tonight's show. Of course, Mom. This is Episode 11, Act 1 of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. Did you hear all that commotion last night with Uncle Sebastian being tortured by the ghosts of the manor? Indeed, Greta. Indeed, I did. I just hope that my brother, Jebediah, knows what he's doing in allowing our young Alicia to face this alone. Greta, what do you think about that decision? Well, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, Edmund. 
I do know that Jebediah has a lot of wisdom in these matters. Possibly. Possibly. But you still don't like it, Greta. I said that. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. Well, I don't either. Uh, Mother, Uncle Edmund, do you mind if I join you? Well, not at all, dear. You just have a seat right here with your mother and me. Oh, Alicia, did you sleep well? We didn't see you at all yesterday. Ugh, I was exhausted. But I'm feeling pretty rested this morning. I'm going to need all my strength for what I have to face later. It's like you said the other day, Mother. What did I say? The clock. Turn back the clock. Oh. If I could turn back the clock, I wouldn't have done all the things that I did. But I can't do that. And we have to face the consequences of our actions. Alicia, darling, we all have things in our past that we're ashamed of. After all, when we first arrived here on Earth, we looked around at these earthlings and we all assumed that they were, let's face it, somewhat of a lower life form. And since that time, we've, we've gotten to know some. And we've settled a bit and, well, we understand they're really not that bad. Really. I guess. It's just, um, I was hurt. And I was angry. And I took it out on the poor innocent people that came roaming through our woods. They didn't deserve what I did. And, uh, now they've come back to haunt me. And I got myself into this mess and I have to get myself out. Don't you want your mother to come with you? Together we could defeat them. No, no mother. I have to do this on my own. The baby. I still don't like it. I know. Just knowing that you feel that way means the world to me. Well, don't forget, you also have your Uncle Edmund out here for you anytime. Even though you did uh, choke me two days ago. Even though you told the ghosts to come back to his. I'm sorry, Uncle Edmund. And well you should be, dear. just enjoying the day? I've been doing a lot of reflecting today. I'm not sure I'll make it back from my journey. Alicia, has anyone told you that our great uncle Sebastian has gone to the dark side to take your place. No. Nobody has told me that. What? Uh, when I took it upon myself to go there as well, I did not know that he was there. I originally went to either defeat the evil spirits that were threatening you, or, or to 
take your place. Cousin, listen to me. Listen to me, please. Together, I'm sure you and I could defeat them. Yes, I'm sure we could. Together, I'm sure we could. Please, if, if you go back, take me with you. Stephanie, I'm sure that the two of us together could defeat them. I got myself into this, and I need to get myself out alone. Uh, I appreciate it, I do, but I need to do this. Okay. All right. I... I understand. But there's something I want you to always remember. Should you ever need me for anything, simply call my name. And I shall come, and I shall always be here for you. Now, I have some pressing matters to attend to, but don't forget, I'm always nearby. Thank you, Stephanie. And I'm always here for you, too. Thank you, cousin. Excuse me. Oh my my my. Oh, Queen Alicia has to face her demons alone. I know how she feels. I found a few myself. Yes, my grandmother was not a very nice person. No, ma'am. She was a murderer. Ew. That sounds awful when you put it that way. She was a murderer? But remember, she did make things right between her and mother, and also her cousins. You know, ma'am, she's starting to sound like someone who's had a change of heart. Oh, Cadbury. You start talking like that, I'm gonna start crying. And that is something no one should ever have to see again. Let's get on with tonight's show. Episode 11, Act 2.
Stephanie. Hello, Uncle Jebediah. I took the liberty of getting your coffee. Oh, well, thank you. Put it down here. Let's have a seat. Of course. Uh, Beautiful day. Indeed it is. Fighting allergies. <laughs> it's that time of the year. Yes. Oh, uh, Uncle Edmund, hi. Edmund, have a seat. Uh, <clears throat> beautiful day, isn't it? Well, it is a bit noisy out here, if you ask me. Yeah, a bit, but uh, I enjoy it. So, Jebediah. Yes. I have a question for you. I kind of thought you did, dear Edmund. What is it? I just saw William and Stephen Sinclair arrive with some poor soul who no doubt owes you a great deal of money, and I'm fully aware that you intend to... kill. Please allow me. I actually know the difference. Uncle Edmund, please listen. The difference between a baron and baroness is that Alicia kills for absolutely no reason. Therefore, her victims are very much innocent. In the baron's case, people take his money and do not repay. That means they are guilty of theft. And in our line of business, that is not acceptable. Anyone who gets away with such a crime can put a serious bruise in the Baron's reputation. Very well. Good. Yeah, Steph. Listen, Edmund and uh, Stephanie, I see Alicia walking. She's mm -hmm. coming this way. I need to speak to her. Uh, I'd like to talk to her alone, if you don't mind. Of course, Uncle Jeffrey. As for me, my favorite movie is coming on, and I was wondering, Uncle Edmund, if you would like to join me. And what is the movie, may I ask? It's The Spider's Eye, of course. Oh, I love that show! Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Did I see you talking to Stephanie and Uncle Edmund earlier? Uh, yeah, they just left. They wanted to watch Stephanie's movie, you know, one of her favorites. Which one? Uh, something called uh, Spider's Eye. That's one of my favorites. I might have to go join them later. Uh, yeah. May I join this conversation, or is it private? Would that ever stop you before? Oh, Try to have a seat. So I was just getting ready to visit with Alicia to let her know that her Uncle Sebastian has taken her place. Did you know that? I did know that. Uh, Stephanie told me earlier today. But I'm going back tonight at the midnight hour to get him back. This is my battle. Listen, <coughs> Alicia, I spoke to Granite. I told her that you should do that on your own. But, uh, the more I give it thought, if you need me to, and if you want me to, I'll go with you tonight. We'll take care of this matter once and for all. Father, this is my mess. I have to take care of it. No, I'm, I'm going to go get Sebastian, bring him back, and I'm doing this on my own. Well, I've got to admit, I'm proud of you for that. Very, very well. What's next, boss? Well, the guy in the basement there, he's in to Uncle Jebediah for over a hundred thousand dollars. 
So I need you to take care of that situation, if you know what I mean. Yes, I do. So did you get it taken care of? <laughs> um, no. Uh, what do you mean, no? What were those two gunshots? I shot a rat. You shot a rat? Twice? It was a big rat. <sighs> All right, let's go see Uncle Jebediah right now. Uncle Jebediah, seems like Sinclair here couldn't take care of Mr. McKay. So, uh, I'm going to leave him here for a little conversation between you two. I'm going to go take care of that situation, all right? Now, William, uh, sit down. Mr. Sinclair, you sit down. Aaron, I, uh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. Right now. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to let him go. What? What? This guy's into you for over $100,000. I know, William, but over the last few days, I've learned something. What's that, Aaron? I've learned there's some things more important than money. Uh, Mr. Sinclair, don't let Mackie go. Yes, sir. He's turned into a pretty good man. One thing we got out of this for sure. What's that, we Got one last rack down in the basement. Really? Yeah, Sinclair shot one. He shot a rat? He shot a rat? <laughs> now that we've got two less rats in the basement. Two? Yes, the one that he shot and the <laughs> one we're letting go. Alicia, have you come to fight us or to surrender for trial? Because we already know you're guilty. I'm here to take my place in the place of my Uncle Sebastian. Please release him. Please release him now. With pleasure, Baroness Alicia. He is quite a force to be reckoned with. Go away, Sebastian, now! Now, now tell me, Baroness Alicia, what, what has changed your mind that you would come here to rescue your uncle and not fight us on this matter? What changed my mind is my family. 
couple days ago, Stephanie had the chance to turn me over to the ghost of the manor. But she didn't. Since then, I've made things right with my mother and have forgiven her for the way that she treated me as a child. For the first time in my life, I feel like a new person. All of my anger and my hatred, it's, it's, it's all gone. Baroness Alicia, your change of heart has saved you. You have turned from a heart of darkness to a heart of light. What does that mean? It means that we no longer have rights to seek revenge. It means that you are now free to go. It means that we no longer are forced into this place of darkness. We are free to move on. We wish you well, Baroness Elysium. show, my queen. Uncle Jebediah has finally had a change of heart, and Queen Alicia is finally rid of those spirits trying to kill her. And the rat got killed. Ugh, I hate rats. Yes, I must say, I've never seen this side of my family. They're all having change of hearts. Indeed they are, ma'am. A change of heart is what makes this world a better place. Yes, very well spoken, Cadbury. Very well spoken indeed. Cousin Wolfington, did you enjoy tonight's episode? Oh, yes, I did. I love seeing this side of our family. Not the other side, though. That side scares the hell out of me. Scares the hell out of you, you say, sir? Well, that just might be a good thing. Yes, Cadbury. And that's all for tonight's episode. Please join us next week. I'm Queen Belladonna, and on behalf of myself and the boys, we bid you a good night. Thank you.